Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. I'm Dom and today is episode three of Subscribers Car Showcase. This is where we show your cars on this very channel. Now we have four absolutely gorgeous, well looked after, well preserved, going to be future classics, going to be worth a lot of coin in the future. <laughs> and all have one thing in common and that is the wheels. Four completely different cars all over the world, but they all have a BBS style wheel. Now let's see which one wears it best and we'll jump straight in with number one. This entry is from Colin Spence from Essex. He's owned the car for one year. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so starting off, um, it's a 225 BAM. Uh, I love the old school feel of driving it when it's a bit rough around the edges. I completely understand that, mate. Um, what is drawn to me is those beautiful wheels. So they are, I believe, anniversary golf wheels, which have been diamond cut. Nice. Brembo brakes as well. I don't know if you caught that. Um, he says he hates that the rear quarter around the petrol cap needs painting from careless owners not cleaning up petrol spillages. Do you know that's not something I've really seen before? Um, not on TTs anyway. Oh, look at them wheels and that brake combo. Nice setup. I think he's got about 260 horsepower. Why do you think that, mate? I'm really interested to know when people put think. Uh, I'm assuming it's been mapped or had a few bits done. Uh, I plan to reattach the V6 spoiler as it fell off, luckily, whilst in the garage, not whilst out driving, and maybe go to a stage two. Uh, he's sporting the Gravity Performance 3-inch um, full system, including a DCAT downpipe. Um, he's got the rear diffuser. Quite a clean look with no badges. Now, let's have a look at that inside. Mark II steering wheel from a TT. Boost gauges, lovely, looking clean. Couple of lights on. Oh, it's not, not got the uh, engine running. <laughs> uh, stage one map, loads of uh, bits done. Mark IV Golf anniversary wheels, diamond cut with black inlays. They look fabulous. Do you agree? I'm a massive fan of that. Uh, moving on to the engine. Um, what's he got here? Let's have a look. He's got a D-baffle charge pipe. He's got the red silicon in hosing. Um, badger tip, red inlet, I really like that. I think that looks really smart. The only thing that puts me off is, you know when you've painted the inlet manifold and the rocker cover and stuff like that, is that obviously you, st you still keep the N249 and all that, it just kind of looks messy on top. That's why I quite like the engine cover. And I think that's why a lot of people do those deletes and they remove um, all the other stuff on there because it just looks messy. I mean, under the cover, looks good because you can't see it but without the cover on it just looks a bit jumbled but that is how it was from the factory so there's nothing you can do about that um in the future plus god knows how many other engine parts change thermostats etc so quite a busy boy colin from essex only had it a year which is cool um let's move on to number two shall we okay so next up on the list is jamie marshall's tt now if you are on instagram you would have 100 percent seen this car TT51 Wax, um, had the car four years, a 18225. Um, things you love about it, the front end, yep, I can see why. Um, things you hate about it, the money I've spent. <laughs> I think we can all agree with that one. Um, horsepower, 270 brake. Uh, future plans, restore the front and rear subframes. Now, I'm surprised by looking at this car that anything, anything needs doing like paint-wise, because this thing is flawless. I'll try and get through this list as best I can, but if you don't get a chance to go through it all, obviously head over to his Instagram and have a look. Now, he has done, I think, most things anyone would want to do. Um, BBS CHs wrapped in Bridgestone Potenzas, lowered on AP coilovers, six, six pop brakes up front, four pop brakes at the rear with a Brembo handbrake caliper, so it's got two calipers at the back. Um, smooth front bumper, Restore 44 lip, the Van Groups one. AirTech intercooler, custom hard pipes, custom headlights with DRLs, sweeping indicators, three bar grill, carbon fiber Morris, carbon fiber fuel flap, OSIR carbon fiber extension, custom made side blades, custom made rear diffuser. Oh, it goes on and on and on. Um, custom exhaust with four inch carbon fiber tips. There's a bit of a theme here with carbon fiber, as you'll know. <laughs> um, custom made rear bumper spats, QS rear spats. Ram air filter, debaffled charge pipe, uprated dog bone, badger five tip, painted engine covers, smooth gloss black scuttle panel, OMP flat bottom steering wheel, OMP legend seats, OMP basis and Sparco sliders, yellow seat belts, half cage, K brace, 
custom boot build, liquid gauge, carbon fiber gear surround, carbon fiber handbrake, and it goes on and on. Now this car is impeccable at all times. If you have ever looked through any of his pictures, I don't think there's ever a dirty picture. When he got this car, it started life as a completely bog standard 22518T Mark One, like you'd expect to see on eBay, and he has just gone to town and back five times. <laughs> It looks wicked with the yellow seat belts. Um, I'm too scared because I'm going to get them dirty, but by the looks of it, that car never, ever actually gets dirty. I think he drives it clean, and then when he's finished, he cleans it again, um, runs his own detailing company, hence the plate and the fact that his car is absolutely impeccable. Now, that is what I would consider to be tastefully modified. There's some things that are a bit mental, like the brakes. I bet that thing literally stops. You say stop, and it just stops dead from 100 to zero. Whoop. <laughs> Must be wicked with them brakes it looks wicked um, only 18 inch wheels as well which make them brakes look even bigger i've got 19s with them brakes on but you can see the uh the sort of the theme here with the uh the wheels two different types so far but we'll carry on um absolutely beautiful car if you're on instagram go check it out i apologize in advance because it will cost you an absolute fortune because you look and think oh that looks nice oh let me just have a just jump on ebay and have a quick look at those and you're done <laughs> Right, let's move on to number three. Next up, we have Jeff Hallett, all the way from Dayton, Ohio, USA. He bought this car new in 2001, 22 years ago. That is epic. Um, he's on quattroworld.com as Hallett, with the, obviously, two TTs. <laughs> Um, it is a 2001 225 Amulet Red Coupe with grey interior with 45,000 miles on. The um, thing you love about it, it is a work of art. Things you hate about it, nothing. And I suppose, to be fair, if you've had it for its entire life and kept well good care of it, you are probably not going to run into too many issues. Um, about 290 horsepower with a chip intake and exhaust. Future plans are to keep it forever and put a Blue Haldex controller on it. Um, for those who don't know, Blue Haldex controller just gives you a bit more bias to the rear. I believe they come on R32 Mark IVs, don't quote me on that. Um, here's some pictures of Jeff's car on some lovely back roads. Um, this is called, he did tell me, the Tail of the Dragon. Again, BBS style wheels, but besides that, a completely factory looking car. Um, wheels are ASA AR1s, 18s with spacers all round, Bilstein eye-back springs, rear sway bar, um, camera adjusting arms, engine, APR um, program 4 chip on their super fuel, um, DV with relocation, intake, metal dipstick tube and a few other bits, um, some forged caps and covers, exhaust is a blue flame, not something we see very often in UK. You can see that cold side relocation there and he's also got the forged caps looking absolutely lovely. Really clean looking engine bays these. Um, interior, red line, shift boot colour, Match to seats with matching stitching, um, forged shift knob, armrest, bright white interior, and a P3 boost gauge. And also his uh, where he was magazine featured in the car, which I think is epic. And in America, those barns look phenomenal. Um, here's a picture with him and the TTs back when they were first produced. Um, big meat, I think they said it was the most they'd ever had in America in one place, which is absolutely epic. Looks phenomenal. And a more recent picture here um, of 2007 in Missouri. I say <laughs> recent, still like 16 years ago, but some absolutely fantastic trips and quite some community out there, which is great to see. It's not just in the UK where we have a mass of TTs. Um, now with the USA spec cars, they have a smaller um, rear number plate sort of dip in the uh, rear bumper. So the rear bumper is quite a popular option in the UK. And also they have a front plate blank, which of course, you know, we can buy from eBay. I've done videos on it before. I'm sure you've seen it on other cars as well. But great looking car, Amulet Red. It's just so deep, looks really, really nice, clean. In the UK, suffers a little bit with um, lack of peel and whatnot, but I'm sure that's the same everywhere. But absolutely phenomenal looking car. And that just proves to you that less is more. Now, usually, I don't like wheels with a little bit of a dish on TTs. I think they look weird, but I think they actually suit it really well. Now, should we move on to number four? Last, but by no means least, we have Ludwig Sandstorm, all the way from Sweden. Now, if you watch my earlier videos about BBSs, this is the gentleman 
that sent me the 3D printed one with my logo complete in it. Uh, <laughs> and of course he has is sporting a set of the original BBS wheels that Audi actually fitted to the Mark 1 TT and what they're quite well known for. Um, he said, well, thanks to mostly uh, you, I own a 3.2 Mark 1, but the application will only focus on the nice one, the other one we won't discuss. <laughs> How long have you owned the car? In two days, we're celebrating two years together. Awesome. 3.2 V6, the only 3.2 on this video, also a DSG. Um, one thing you love about it, the sound. One thing you hate about it is the fuel consumption and cleaning the BPSs, the BBSs, yes. That is two things I know, but I can completely agree with the second one. The fuel smiles per gallon, isn't it? <laughs> um, stock, but probably less now. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see how many people's car actually made the horsepower they said it should. Uh, future plans. I've pretty much done everything I wanted. The wheels are due for a restoration, though, and the AC doesn't work. And some seats would be nice. Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> pretty stock, tasteful mods, a loud exhaust, which is a must. And I fully agree. The 3.2 needs that loud exhaust. And you can see he has done loads of hard work, machine polishing it and getting this car to a very, very nice standard. Um, H&R lowering springs, uh, thanks for the tip with the suspension I had on my V6, epic suspension, um, CB auto engine bay hardware, double ding converted with CarPlay, very, very nice, wheel finish, steering wheel cover, thanks again, something we've done a video on in the past, um, well, so we've got moderate comfort indicators, automatic lights, thanks to the previous owner, very cool, um, not really mods, but did uh, a really thorough po uh, polish, uh, replaced all the brakes, refurbished all the calipers, um, and now it is in tip-top shape for usual maintenance. Now that double din is epic. I'm intrigued to know what is the hole in the dash. What was in there before? Was there a car phone kit or something? It's not often you see people with holes in the dash, but an absolutely great looking car. And with the BBSs and an exhaust, these cars just look flawless. The darker colors really, really suit um, the silver wheels. They really suit the silver exhaust. And because it's a 3.2, it has the nicer front bumper. It has the three bar grille, um, the rear honeycomb, the spoiler extension, all the things that people usually fit on their cars when they are not 3.2s. And it just shows you that a moderately modified car, pretty much standard, all bar the exhaust and a couple of other little bits, still looks absolutely fantastic today and all the way from Sweden. Um, so that wraps up today's video. Let's have a quick recap, shall we? So first up, we had Colin Spence's silver TT with those beautiful diamond cut BBS anniversary wheels off a Golf with. The four pot Brembo's great looking car, few little tricky mods playing with the red with a quattro badge on the front and those lovely wheels and calipers. Uh, moving on to number two, we had Jamie J Marshall. And if you are on Instagram, like I said, you will have seen this car a hundred times. Always the cleanest car I've ever seen. Really tastefully modified, heavily modified, um, but looking great. Um, now we've got on to number three, Jeff Hallett's all the way from USA, Amulet Red, pretty much standard car, but looking great. Slight dish on the wheels, unusual to see. Um, a few little tricky bits and he's had it an absolute lifetime since the day it was made. Epic. And number four, we've got Ludwig all the way from Sweden sporting the three points in Moro Blue. Genuine BBSs, and again, pretty factory other than a little suspension drop and a beautiful sounding exhaust, which you can't argue with. Now, I want to know which one would you have if these were the only four choices you could have. Um, maybe drop us in the comments below uh, one sentence, I liked number two because of this, or I would have number three because of this. It's always nice to know what you prefer. There's some very standard options. There's also some heavily modified options and everything in between. Also quite a nice complex from really light colored cars to really dark colored cars and everything in between. Now, I just want to thank everyone who took part in this video today and the previous two episodes. Really appreciate you sending in your pride and joys and sharing it with everyone. Now, we still need some other cars to come in so we can do future videos. We've still got a couple of videos lined up, but it would always be nice to see your cars as well. You can head over to our website, theparrotbros.co.uk forward slash rank my ride. Or if you head over to the Parrot Bros, it's quite easy to find in the contents. There's also a wealth of information 
bolt list, buyers guides, merch, and all that kind of great stuff on the website. And if you really enjoy these videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps these videos and myself as well. Now, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.